Welcome to the campfire. Today, I've got a special treat for you. It's called Mr. Moose's Deluxe S'more. Well, you won't be able to try it, but I can try it and I can show you how to make a s'more of your own maybe at home. Let me show you what you need. First, you need some waffles. I use the frozen variety. You can just put these on the fork and grill them right over the fire. You kind of bend them, make sure they're toasted evenly on both sides. I like to use for my deluxe s'more gold Hershey's bar. It's a little bit different, but it makes it mm, so good. After that, you got your marshmallow. Now the key to a perfect marshmallow is that you hover it over the coals about six inches above the coals and you rotate it constantly so that it gets that nice golden flavor that's gooey and just about to melt off that fork. Oh. We got the peanut butter, we're gonna spread it right there. And that's gonna be our top. Then we're gonna top it off with some wonderful pickles. Oops, sorry. We got some barbecue. Barbecue? That is so freaking nasty. Oh, it's gonna get worse. Hold on. Thick. So we got some caramel sauce. Watery. Oh, there mm. you go. Are you are you actually gonna take a bite of it? I that? will. And then I like to put some whipped cream. And that just helps to hold down some crushed Doritos right on top of it. And then just to top it off for some spice, we're gonna put some hot sauce on top. Ha, we've got our finished masterpiece right here. The one of a kind, Mr. Moose Deluxe S'more. This is gonna taste so good. Mmm. Yeah, it's so small. <laughs> hey, Mark. You want to try one? That looks excellent. How about I try one? Here, here, let me take a bite. Well, here. Oh. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Never had better. Mmm. Oh, gosh. You got it like. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, I'm curious. <laughs> what kind of sandwich you can make at home. Good thing I skipped breakfast. You can take any mm. ingredients and make your own little mm. creation, whether it's a s'more, a sandwich. So what is mm. something strange that you think you could put together and eat? Mr. Can't wait till you try yours. Mm. Uh, campfires are pretty cool. Hey, you can sit around them all night. And watch them they're ever changing it's like a life happening right before you in a, in a different form I mean if you look at it it's, it's dangerous but it's cool because there's a chemical reaction that's kind of happening this whole time making warmth now it's not just cool but campfires represent usually a community center this is where people hang out even in the old times this is where they would cook uh, this is where they get warmth uh, they always had to have fire around in order to have a community about them. And that's one thing that, if you look at this, this is a community of logs. There's a tons of wood coming together in order to create one big purpose of a fire coming together. If I were to take one of these pieces that was a fire and set to the side, automatically it's starting to lose its embers. It's starting to lose its flame. If I were to rejoin that with the fire, it would regain that. Uh, but it need, they need each other in order to continually grow. A one log is not easily create a fire. You have to have multiple logs together. And that's why it represents community. Uh, just as much as, as Christians, we need to be in community with each other. You see, each of these needs each other, just like we as Christians need each other to help us out and help us grow. The Bible continually talks about how we are supposed to spur one another on, love each other, uphold each other, making sure that they're not stumbling. And he also says we're, more, we're two or more gathered. That's where God is. The more we hang out together, the more we can create this common purpose. 
you know, I think that's the challenge I would leave for you. I want you to find two other people that you can commit to, that you can talk to and get to know them. One could be a pastor, one could be a friend. I suggest having a friend that is the same gender, just for easiness sake. Uh, and then you would reach out and figure out how you can impact their life and how they can impact your, your life. Just like this fire, the more we have people coming together, uh, the more we have this light that shines. It makes us warmer, makes those around us warmer, and it makes a better life. And it brings the kingdom of God, the light of the world, here before us. I challenge you with that today. Please do that. Find two people and share God's love with them.